Right now, we haven't seen any indication that it would not make that turn. And until we good, see the computer which is models, definitely the good news. yeah, they've been pretty consistent. Remember, the track forecast is more reliable than intensity forecast, and we haven't seen the track forecast waver too much over the past several days. And still, it's zoned in somewhere around the Florida Eastern Gulf, so that may still shift a little bit. But until we see some kind of drastic change, which I don't anticipate happening you know, we'll continue to watch and make sure it takes that turn. It's just a matter of where it takes that turn. As you look at the GO-16 satellite, you can see the, the amazing imagery from the uh, every minute picture that we get from the GO-16. And you can see the eyewall clearly there. And we can see down to the surface of the ocean. So uh, a very impressive, and unfortunately, a very powerful hurricane, too, as it starts to move towards the uh, Leeward Islands. So again, this is a powerful storm. The uh, cloud tops are reaching up into the atmosphere. So we're continuing to monitor this system as it moves towards the Caribbean Sea. So again, you can see on the five or the four o'clock advisory, 185 miles per hour. Only Allen in 1980 was stronger at 190. That was in the Gulf of Mexico. But again, this is the strongest in the Atlantic Ocean itself, not counting the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico. Here's your track continuing on pretty much the same course in the west northwest movement and then heading towards the Florida Straits. But you can start to see that turn take place. This is kind of mirroring also the uh, European model. But again, Cone of error. The turn could take place further out in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, in the eastern Gulf, along the west coast, along Florida, or along the east coast in the Atlantic Ocean. So again, there's still some margin of error. We just don't know where that turn will take place. One influencing factor will be the front we've been talking about, still on track for tomorrow. For the evening hours, about a 30% chance for spotty storms through tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here comes the front slowly moving through by late morning into the early afternoon hours. We'll keep a 30% chance of rain till about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then we'll continue to see the drier and breezy air, uh, breezy conditions move on in. Then the front and the upper level trough will be situated along the eastern United States. So on Sunday, we are looking at the trough along the east, high pressure in the upper levels that's driving uh, Irma towards the west northwest and high pressure behind the front behind the front that dry air is coming in with a northerly northwesterly flow so that wind flow is pushing things towards the east so that's why it's kind of unlikely right now because of high pressure that'll be situated over Louisiana that the storm would get far towards us now think of these high pressures in the upper levels as large mountains of air you cannot walk through a mountain just like hurricanes and storms can't go through these mountains of air. So what it looks for is it steers around the big mountains to that valley, to that trough. And that's why that trough on Sunday will be somewhere along the eastern Gulf and the eastern United States. So that's kind of what the steering currents are about when you talk about hurricanes. Now here's Saturday from the GFS. This takes it farther towards east. This is a new model run just in and this keeps it well offshore. So that's a new model run by the GFS taking it towards the Carolinas as we head towards Monday. Now the GFS or the European model again takes it towards the Florida Straits on Sunday and then along the west coast then to central Florida to Jacksonville and up towards Georgia and South Carolina. So you can see there's still some wiggle room there on where that turn is going to take place. Tropical depression number 13 out here. Tropical storm Jose out in the Atlantic Ocean. Jose is a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour sustained winds could get a little stronger, could become a hurricane, but this will probably turn well before uh, we see Irma making the turn and tropical depression 13 could become tropical storm Katia out in the Bay of Campeche and moving towards Mexico. So we'll continue to watch that, but it's not a threat to the United States. At